Party people, this is NPC Killer, and this is my character, NPC Killer. By far, the most beautiful uh, Dark Souls female I've ever seen. She is by far gorgeous. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, my days. So, basically, we're going as a mage. This is my second character. Which is basically just, I'm just going to run through and kill all the NPCs in the game so you can see what they drop and if to kill them or if not to kill them. Because some of them don't drop anything and some of them drop some pretty good things. She drops three human effigies which is pretty good, pretty good. But we I don't I haven't completed the game yet, so I don't know if any of these characters reoccur in the story later on, so if killing them has any consequences. But she that that old woman I just killed then dropped nothing. But right at the start of the game you do no damage, man. <laughs> but this woman she gives you six human effigies. Six. And this takes ages, and this bitch just laughs and drops nothing. But I picked the sorcerer for doing this because obviously the sorcerer is just feel, feels to me like a really it's meant to be a hard class to use because you don't have a lot of damage. But your actual attacks stun, like stagger, and he drops the the moon uh, the blue sorry the blue moon great sword, which is a pretty good weapon. It's in the first game, but in the first game it doesn't look as cool. I don't think it does anyway. Or oh, does it? I don't know. But it looks fucking radical, I'll tell you that much. Now we're going to batter the blacksmith. Because why not? Why not? <clears throat> he had a massive club behind him then, but then you pick up what he drops and he gives you a blacksmith's hammer. So I don't know what that big club thing was. But this hammer is, if I, if I was efficient in using it, it's got 130, so right off the bat, at the beginning of the game, that's pretty fucking strong. And it's got sh quick, uh, pretty fast attacks for uh, the RB slash R1 attack. Now I'm going to kill this dude. I don't even know this guy's name because I didn't really pay attention because he sells armor. Who wants to buy armor? I don't buy weapons. I don't buy armor because I don't see the point. You find better stuff anyway. But he just drops all his clothes. I basically just robbed him of his clothes. And this face is by far the most beautiful of faces I've ever seen. <laughs> that chin just clipping through the fucking robe, man. My days. This is probably the greatest character I've ever created. But the funny thing is... Oh, now I'm going to kill this guy, but this character, I ran through, I've got up to where I was on my first playthrough, like 15 hours in, but I've done it in like 2 hours with the sorcerer, because it's just really, really easy. you just got to run away from him and then just fucking bap him with that. But this guy, this is the guy that lets you join the Blue Covenant. can't remember what the fuck they're called, Blue Covenant I think it's called. But that ring, it's either this ring or it might be the other one. Now this one just increases physical defense, which is pretty good, because obviously at the beginning of the game, because once you join the covenant, if you know you're going to stay in it, you can kill him because you don't really need anything else. Oh, but this is the guy who had the the blue moon sword. If you kill him, when you go to the trader, uh, wherever that old lady trader that sat down just before the boss, uh, she's got all of his armor for sale. And now we're going to batter her. Yeah, this woman. She has all of the blue moon guys. Blue moon greatsword. That guy. All of his armor for sale. It's not great, but I don't know what any of this is like when you fully refine it. But now this, after killing her, you get the serpent ring plus one. This is pretty good. And I think this is the only way to get it. 
every per any every enemy you kill has more so drops more souls than usual, which is pretty good. So if you buy everything you can off of the trader, then you might as well just kill that old bitch. And then get the rings, you can get more souls and level up faster. Or a killer at the end, at, right at the end of the game, go around and kill all the NPCs and then jump into a new game plus and keep all your items. Who knows? But now Pate, sorry Pate, you're quite a nice guy but you're dead. And this is probably one of the best rings I've found so far. From NPCs anyway. <clears throat> Which is the uh, Ring of Thorns. Ring counterattacks when damage is taken. So if somebody hits you, they will you won't counterattack them, but the ring actually does damage to them as it's got spikes on it. I'm not sure how much damage it is though, I should have shown it off, but I forgot to record that bit. And you get Pate Spear. This no, it's alright, it's not great. It looks a bit odd, it's super fucking long as a spear should be. But it's just a bog standard spear. Now this, this bitch will fuck you up, I'll tell you that much. But before you kill her, she has an item that lets you progress to a new area. But if I was you, I'd buy every bit of uh, every divine spell she has. These, those are some crazy fucking spells, I want those. But you should buy every fucking spell she has, the ring she has, and the thing. And watch out because she's just a crazy bitch that likes to run off the fucking edge because she's weird then when I did when that happened I thought oh no I can't get the item so I logged out logged back in <laughs> well I dashboarded it but then as I came back to the bonfire the items were there so she just drops uh, a lock stone and the little fucking ring a ding ding charm thing for paladins but that lock stone lets you go to a new area and I think by killing her is the only way you can get that off to get that lock which then lets you get to this area where you fight this dude but then he he kind of glitched out and just kept doing some like dragon breath shit <clears throat> and he gives you the sunset sunset staff which looks Fucking sick, I'll tell you that much. Look at this. Bam! Alright, BAM! That looks rad. That looks radical as fuck. That reminds me of Kronos from Smite. But you need quite high faith for it. But I'm, uh, there's something about that guy. I don't know what. But take it easy, people. Ba boom! Oh, party people, hope you enjoyed that video. Yeah, if you did, hit that like button. If there's anything in this game I left out, just let me know in the comments. Yeah, and if you're new to this channel, just hit that subscribe button. I put on new videos, new content like every day. But obviously, it's, um, if I miss a day, which would normally be a Saturday, it's because I'm at a party, you know what I mean? Yeah, peace.